Hey you guys, this is Max with Pure Power Solar and today we're going to be talking about the top three solar generators with lithium batteries. So in my article, which I'll link in the description below, we have the, I have the top five solar generators with lithium batteries. That's including the Energy Apex and the Point Zero Energy Titan. I didn't include these in this video because it's going to take a while for me to explain these different models and the series. I'll go over two different uh, product lines of solar generators with lithium batteries. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing, I'm gonna go over the Explorer series by Jackery. You probably know about this if you're into solar generators and you maybe follow this uh, around a little bit, this uh, area, this market. But the main cons, we'll go over the pro, for one con and one pro for each of these. The main con is slow charging. So slow charging with the Jackery's is a common issue, even with solar, um, sometimes, and even with the Jackery 1000, as um, Will Prowse, who reviews these, he tried it with the 1000, um, Explorer 1000 from Jackery, and the Jackery didn't perform as good as uh, it was maybe hyped up to be. Um, it only, its solar panels ran the system actually faster than the AC unit. Usually that um, doesn't happen often, but um, it was kind of upsetting, but that's the main con. The main pro is that the reliable, which is obviously that tilts the scale in the, um, they're very reliable. That definitely is important, especially when you're talking about backing up power uh, when there's an outage. That's extremely important for these systems. And that's what Jackery is really great at. And obviously they put a lot of focus and intention to making sure their systems are reliable and trusted by customers. And you can even see that through the Amazon reviews and the uh, ratings. So that's uh, very significant when uh, checking these out. So the first model, we have, we're gonna go from smallest to largest, the uh, 160, this is the um, 167 watt hour system. It has a flashlight on the other end of it that you can't see, one AC port, it has a few USBs and a basic solar generator system. So that's great for just normal devices, like something typical like your phone or, or very basic things like that. So next here we have the 240, which is a quality system. This is probably their bread and butter. This is one of the best systems that may be ever made in this size solar generator. Um, it's excellent. So I've never owned one of these, but I've seen enough reviews and rave about it that it's uh, very well um, respected in the market because that's a great uh, overall system. This is another one that you could charge. You want to charge smaller things with this. You don't want to go crazy by you know powering insane things. Just make sure to keep it light. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for a CPAP. I always want to recommend uh, think, uh, systems good for CPAPs that are guaranteed to work. So. The Explorer 500, we'll talk about in a sec, that's like right there with, with it. That can get you a good night's sleep with a CPAP. So the newest uh, model in the lineup is the Ed Jackery Explorer 300. Um, this one's pretty cool because it has, we'll zoom in on here, it has a 60 watt USB-C PD port. This is the only system in this lineup that has this exact port. Some of them have USB-Cs, but they're not 60 watts. So that's excellent. It's up to date and they're releasing the system so that people can charge their devices in an efficient manner. Also has a quick charge 3.0 and then another standard uh, uh, USB-A system or USB-A port. And then we have here a little cover for the car port, which is pretty cool, but it's uh, just a cover, so nothing gets in there. And then um, this is just a little layout of what everything is. If you want to take a screenshot, if you uh, want to are interested in the system, go ahead and check that out. But besides that, we'll move on to the Explorer 500. So this one's pretty cool, and it's right in the middle with the um, this whole lineup, but it has pretty basic um, ports. It doesn't have a USB-C uh, PD. You can see here that it has three USB-A ports. So that's something to consider just in case you have a device that only uses USB-C. Um, if you want to use the AC port for something else, just, you know, you want to think about those things, just those little things that uh, what you're going to use it for, but it's overall a great system. It's um, 
a good mid range. So your CPAP, like I mentioned before, and then we actually have, this is from the manual that I just pulled. You have an MPPT charge controller, a nice warranty with all those products, 24 months. And then, um, yeah, you got all the stats here. So all their manuals are actually on their site. So you can download those and get all that detailed information right there for you. And then lastly here, we have the 1000 from Jackery. This is the largest system that they have available that has um, an Anderson connector for solar if you're going to do that. A little heads up though, they uh, it's not recommended to use anything more than a 200 watt panel because um, Will Prowse test, tested this on his channel and he said that, um, he showed that it doesn't charge more than about 175 watts of solar with this system. So something to think about to not go over the, uh, the 200 watt mark. All right, so um, also if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, I come out with videos about once a week. And then like and comment. I, I love the comments. If you got anything to say about these, any opinions at all, please say them. I love having the, those conversations. Let me know and I respond to nearly all of them. All right, and so let's get into the EcoFlow Delta 1300. This is an excellent system because of a few reasons. We'll go over the cons first though. So it will not charge if overheated. So uh, what happens here, this system charges extremely fast with uh, their AC port. So when you charge through the wall, it really uh, hammers in the power to the system to charge it up. It can go, I believe they advertise it like from 50% to 100% in about an hour, which is insane. It's extremely fast, probably the fastest charging on the market today. So it will not charge if overheated. What I mean by that is when you charge the system up, it's not a problem. Once it's at full battery and you use it extensively. So I'm talking about using like a blow dryer or something that's really going to take a lot of power out of the system. And you use that, the battery is naturally going to heat up. The fans are going to kick in, but it's not going to cool down in time for it to be able to charge again once that battery goes down. So this means that you charge it up, you use it very fast, then it needs to cool down. So it might take an hour or two, legitimately like two hours sometimes, if you use, use it too fast and it doesn't have time to cool down. But due to it cooling down it, or due to it charging so fast in general, it's not really a big issue because compared to other solar generators, it's still faster than them. But it's just something to keep in mind. You can't like you can't just keep powering massive appliances with this and expect it to keep working consistently and smoothly. Another great thing here, we'll go into the pros. Ultra fast charging, as we just mentioned, it accepts up to 400 watts of solar. So it's not as fast as the AC wall outlet, but it's still a pretty hefty amount of solar for this size generator. But then we have a very high powered inverter. We're talking, and you can see down here, I wish you could see the arrow from my mouse, but it has 1800 watts of continuous and 3300 watts of peak power, which is amazing. It's very good for a system like this. Also, that has a very good LCD system. It gives you all types of information, but if you check out any other videos on YouTube on the someone actually using it, you'll see how intuitive it is. And it's just a very cool sight to see, and uh, I'm excited to see how EcoFlow keeps on improving their systems. All right, and now we're gonna to go to the next series here. This is the Yeti X series and the Yeti Lithium series. So I said top three uh, solar generators with lithium batteries, but I'm gonna go over these two series uh, right now. Excuse me while I get some water. Okay, so the first thing here, we're gonna go over, that's the 1500X but the Yeti Lithium series. So there's gonna be uh, four models on here. And the first one we'll start with is the Yeti 400 Lithium. This is a, uh, obviously a 400, a little more than 400 watt hours of uh, lithium ion uh, battery, but it is kind of heavy. I don't know the exact weight. I wanna say 16 pounds, could be wrong on that, but it's uh, pretty, pretty heavy for its uh, battery 
but it's not terrible because it has a handle at the top of it, as you can see. So it's pretty easy to carry around. This would probably be my number one recommendation out of the series for like, like be, uh, camping or doing something where you're moving it around because these other systems tend to get quite heavy. The Yeti 1000 lithium is uh, the step up from there, obviously. And it has uh, pretty much very similar ports. It has Anderson power pole ports. If you can see that in the, uh, you see the red and black ports, those are Anderson connectors, but also it is a powerful system. These, the 1000 and up in the lithium series are known for being very good at their inverter, uh, actually hitting their inverter specs. Sometimes these companies, uh, solar generator companies, they lie, like blanketly lie about what their generators can do. Uh, but Goal Zero is a well-known brand and one of the most known, uh, I think, in the solar generator field. And their inverters live up to the actual real life um, scenarios. Also, we have the 1400, which is the step up. And now we're getting into the territory where the 1400 and the 3000 lithium can all be uh, enabled with the Yeti application. This is very cool. And uh, Goal Zero was the first to come out with this application or an application for their generator. You could turn on and off ports. And ever since they came out with the Yeti X series, they're actually going to improve um, the application. So you can see your analytics from what you were, how you were using your power in the past, and then you could use that to optimize your generator in the future. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have the Yeti 3000 lithium, which is the big boy of all of them. That's very heavy, but it has a lot of power, great for home backup, maybe an off-grid home, possibly an RV. So main cons, heavy. So I mentioned this before, they're fairly heavy systems. There's no more than two outlets. This is the thing that I have. There's no more than two AC outlets all the way up to the 3000. I would just in general would recommend, like I wish they would have more. The The generator we just went over, the EcoFlow Delta, it's like the same as the 1400 and it has six AC outlets. So they know like who's using it. You could easily connect a power strip to it, no problem that'll solve the problem instantly, but it's just a little thing I have. Next, we have no NPPT charge controller um, pre-installed in these systems. You can get them for possibly the 1000, but definitely the 1400 and 3000, but that's $100 extra. So that's something to think about if you want faster solar charging. Main pros, uh, they obviously have lithium batteries. They're great and reliable, um, or they have great and reliable continuous and surge power, which is excellent. And then the Yeti application we already discussed. So that's another great feature of these systems. So here we'll talk about the X series. And the first model we'll talk about is the model I own, which is the 200X. I overpaid for this. It's uh, very overpriced, but it it's good. I'm glad I have it for backup power, but I'd recommend finding something that's a little uh, more inexpensive because it's, it has a smaller battery. The 500X is the successor to the 400 lithium. It's much lighter. It's about 12 pounds and it has a high surge uh, uh, wattage at 1200 watts, which is excellent. And it has updated ports. So especially with USB-C, um, that's awesome that they included that in that system. Then we have the 1500X with the same style of ports, um, some Anderson power pool connections there. And then also with the 3000X, we have the similar ports, but just a much bigger battery. So the great things about here, we have a more uh, higher power inverter for the 1500X and 3000X, which is excellent. It has a 2000 continuous wattage and then a uh, 3500 watt surge power. And it has a higher solar input too, which is amazing, up to 600 watts for the 1500 and 3000X. The 1000X and 6000X are coming soon, 2021. Super pumped for that. And then the main cons, they're expensive. Only two AC ports as mentioned. Lighter than the uh, lithium. Those are the pros. They're much lighter. Um, actually, the 1500X and 3000X are not. They're about the same, but the other ones are super light, easily portable. Updated ports, increased solar input, and pre-installed MPBT charge controllers. Excellent. Very good to see that happening. Um, 
click my link in the uh, description below for the full article. I'll go over the Titan and the Apex there. But otherwise, have a good day. Thank you for everything. And subscribe. Thanks.